is it a really bad idea to represent yourself in a divorce? My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney who's been helping people get through divorce in Texas since 1987. And I can tell you a number of reasons why it's a bad idea to represent yourself. Number one, you are emotionally involved. And whenever you're emotionally involved, it's hard to make good judgment calls. Two, you're not trained in the law. You may be educated and intelligent, but this is a complicated area that lawyers spend years and years preparing for, years getting experienced in, and the law changes every two years. So with our continuing education, continuing legal education built upon the foundation of years of education, attorneys are better equipped to tell you what your rights are and to think of things that you may not have even thought about in the division of your property and debts. And thirdly, people often leave things out of their divorce decree. They, they don't know how to write it or they have an idea of what they want to do, which turns out to be not a great idea, but they just leave things off of it completely. And when you do that, you're opening yourself up for litigation years later, because anything that is not specifically described in the division of property and debts has never been divided. It doesn't matter what makes sense or what you agreed to. If it's not in the divorce decree, it can be brought up and brought into court decades later. I do. I did. I'm done. Come see me. <laughs>